Alright guys, welcome back. Sorry, I had some kind of error and I don't know, something just went down with my internet for a second. So I think we are back. If you saw a little cut, that was probably why. And hopefully things don't happen again. What is it? I'm half a heartbeat from throwing you out of this camp. Why didn't you say so? I thought you were another sand eater come to fight for the Alakir. Gudars is a great man, but he has a tragic history. It's given him a gruff exterior, but his bully boys would follow him anywhere. Because if you're part of his loyal crew, you get treated right. The pick of the loot and back up when you're in trouble. He learned how to handle troops when he was in the army. The Sentinel Army, under old King Ramsay. He was an agent, part of what you call military intelligence. Lived in Tava's blessing, had a family and little ones. On a mission, he learned that some pirates were planning to raid Tavas. He reported what he'd heard, but the general dismissed it and sent him on another mission. The pirates raided Tavas' blessing and killed Gudar's family. He swore revenge and went rogue. Who could blame him? Thanks for, like, telling me everything in, like, a matter of 15 seconds. You don't look like one of Gudar's bruisers. What do you need? Well, you can't just call him a bandit. He obviously has military experience, and he's smart. No doubt about that. He was someone of consequence before he sank to being a gang boss. Who knows? Perhaps he made a mistake and was disgraced and discharged. Or maybe he just developed a taste for gold and blood. Blood. I saw the look on his face when he killed our old captain. He enjoyed it. Creepy. Okay, so the last guy, and then we talk to him again. I saw you talking to Captain Uznagik. I hope he's finally going to do something about these ruffians and thieves. Heard he used to be a pirate. Got his ship by ambushing a captain and cutting his throat in cold blood. Then he claimed the title of captain for himself and made it stick. He'd already gotten a gang of his own bully boys into the crew, and he bought some of the others. The opposition was shouted down or chased off. Same thing again is my guess. He gets his gang to infest the militia, gains our trust, then murders the captain and takes over. Why well, mess with success? Interesting. Okay, let's talk to this guy, see what he's gonna uh, do now. What have you learned of my old friend, Gudars? I see. Oh, that's terrible. But I don't see much left of the man I knew. And now he's demanding that I leave and take other real militia with me, or die. We have no time left for wishful thinking. He's left us no choice. We have to adopt his own methods. Kill Godars and cut off the head of the snake. I wish I was certain I'll succeed. I'm not too old to lead, but single combat against a younger man? Good. I hate to lose a battle in my own camp. Beat the drum in our combat arena, and Godars will come to fight. He glories in turning the sand red with our recruit's blood and set this up to show his prowess. It's time to show him yours instead. Why would you volunteer to do that? Like, I'm not even part... Oh my god, whatever. YOLO! A challenge? Good. I saw which tent you came out of, meddler. I'll make your death a painful one. Where are you going to stop? This is your last chance to turn tail and run before I destroy you. Hold on, can I just stab him now? Oh, that, my potion went away like right as I did that. Nope, that doesn't stun him. I have to slow him down a little bit, my two button. Ah, this is actually not that hard at all. Get wrecked, sorry. That was actually really easy. I was expecting a little bit harder of a boss fight, but that's okay. I think his crew is not going to be happy about that. So you did it. I must admit, it's a relief. Traditionally, you would now be in command of the militia. 
But is that what you want? If not, who should be? Thank you. I appreciate your trust. We'll have to act fast, but the loyal troops and I will get this camp cleaned up on the double. I think the Covenant will be proud of us. Cool. That was an interesting story, but all those people are gone now, so that's okay. Um, shrines, like, right next to each other? That's unheard of. We're gonna take them. Because why not? Shrines are good. Ooh, an anchor. I guarantee... Oh, it's gone. I was about to say, if it was there, I guarantee no one was going to be there anyway. Um, I want to get that other shrine, and then we will do that mission. Or Usually when they have a picture emblem next to it, it generally means it's a more of a story one. At least from what I've noticed. This is a weird placement for shrines. Usually they aren't like so close to each other, but I'll take it. Uh, where was it? Down here, H, no, not H. Pretty sure there's a cave in there. I don't think there's gonna be anyone. Oh, that's just an ogre. Yeah, we can't solo it. It's too hard. Maybe another time. There's no quests over. Here? There has to be a quest over here. Yeah, I thought so. To do. On the outside, okay. Each blade stands alone, even in the mid. This used to be a place of repose, of learning. Now, I don't know. If my heart weighs this heavily, it is probably best if I leave this place. We are a respected school of swordsmanship. Our blade masters are matchless, our students disciplined and sharp. I've been ordered to find more recruits for our school. Once we were very selective on who would be allowed in, but now... A thousand apologies. My tongue doesn't know its proper place. Yes, our knowledge can be shared by all who desire proper training. Perhaps you would take the rights of Lecky's Blade. Please speak to my esteemed teacher, Disciple Tafa Atmakela. She's within. Weird. Sure, I guess I'll do it. Let's uh Hello there. I have to switch up the quest real quick. Should read those. Your potential is obvious. Ew. You've handled challenges before. Welcome to our school, Recruit. Are you here to prove yourself, as have so many others before you? Students prove themselves through the art of battle. Any fool can win a duel, but a master knows who will challenge her and where it will occur. You must think as the masters did. Learn not just how they fought, but when and why. It is a delicate matter. I am unsure how to say this, but something is amiss. I need someone who can recognize signs of danger to help me. The training is important, but so are the lives of our students. And they are somehow threatened. A shadow. My own senses are overwhelmed by the signs, such that I can no longer see the direction from which the danger arises. You can serve as my eyes and ears, with a clear head. Many have said it before you, but you cannot hold a sword at this school until you learn the most important lesson. The one of history. Speak to Smith Nabinum and answer his riddles. He works at the forge. When he is satisfied, we shall talk again. Okay. Um. 
Let's see. Greetings. We'll go do that. These riddles are kind of weird. Hook. Greetings to you, student. What knowledge do you seek? A strategy to slay your opponents, the strength to protect your allies, the power to split a kingdom in two. These things you may do and have done already, but these are not the arts I teach. Listen, this is a tale of Master Fidalia, Blade Master of Lecky's Blade. While on walkabout, Master Fidalia encountered a wagon. The wagon's owner was an uninjured woman facing an unmasked man. He held a battered axe, she a pristine blade. The woman said the man was a bandit who had already attacked her once. She begged Master Fidalia to intervene. Master Fidalia walked away, yet the woman lived to tell her tale. Why did she live? Um... I don't think it's the first one. If that was true, why would he not kill her afterwards? He challenged her without a mask. She would know his face, and if this was true, why beg Master you see as Master Fidalia did? The woman claimed she fought the bandit, yet she had no wounds. Had she parried his axe, her pristine blade would be notched. Had Master Fidalia faced the bandit, the woman would have stabbed her in the back. Oh, that makes sense. Then hear the story of Master Arm Cessnit. Long ago, a foreign mage came to challenge us. He claimed his power a match for our blades. One by one, he dueled our students. This master of alteration could turn steel to mist at will. Every student lost. Okay. Master Aram was an initiate, yet he faced the mage and won. So handily, in fact, that his opponent made apologies and left forever shamed. Of all the students who faced the mage, Master Aram was far from the best warrior. How did Master Aram win the duel? It's either... It's probably this one. Or the second one. I know it's not the third one. But we're going to go with the first one because... I have an idea, but it's probably not right, so... You see his master Yeah. Arm. The foreign mage claimed his power a match for our blades. Indeed, any steel that threatened him turned to mist as fast as one could blink. But a training sword is wood. And wood is nothing like steel. I tell you now the story of Master Arm Cessnit's end. Long ago, Master Arm was the blade master here. In his last days, he called his favorite student to him. If she could give him what he wanted most, she would become the next blade master of Lecky's blade. That is what you must discover. Master Arm's legend is known by all, even the serving folk. Direct your questions to them. Halam, Unar, and Iman. Once you know what they know, return to me and give your answer. Okay. So, where are you? Are they... Sky Shard! <laughs> Easy distractions. Must get that Sky Shard. See, get the fuck out of there! What are you doing? I'm trying to find a way up there. Oh, found it. Hello. Oh, almost fell off. <laughs> no, didn't, I want the sky shard. Okay, so let's talk to all the people and figure it out. 
The stables are not as busy as they once were. Still, I will care for all beasts that seek shelter within. Anyone who knows of our school has heard of him. He was the master who brought the teachings to so many, tireless in his quest for perfecting the blade. In truth, no one knows. Many tales were told about his last battle with a group of bandits. Some say he survived and went on to roam the sands beyond Lecky's blade. I can't imagine that myself. I don't get it. Next. It's good to see persons of renown traveling like many here. I came to Lucky's Blade to become a great warrior. Despite my training, I lack talent with a blade. I returned to my family ashamed. And then I remembered one of Master Aram's lessons. We do not choose when we rest. To give up the hard road is to bring suffering to the next traveler. Basically, never give up. Ten years I've trained since that day. I'm no master. But if my family needs me, I can defend them. Kinda makes sense. I don't even remember what his question was in the beginning, but I think we'll figure it out. Have you come to forgive me? These students mock my temper. You'd think I'm the old master's reincarnation the way they bellyache. In any case, I know only the stories, such as the one about the Enchanted Knives. He forbade Redguard trainees to dabble in magic. When a traveling merchant brought Enchanted Knives, Master Aram upturned the cart and chased the poor man into a sand dune. He wouldn't even use the metal. He threw the knives out after the merchant. I see. Hello. So after hearing those, only one of them really made sense to me, but I think you want to discover what Master Aram's favorite student gave him. You must speak with the servants of Lecky's blade. Excellent. Then tell me, what did Master Aram Cessnit want at the end of his life? What did his student give him? Master Aram's sickness was great. And a red guard who cannot fight is as weak as a toothless snake. But red guards do not throw their lives away. If such a thing existed, Master you see as the young student did so long ago. By that time, Master Aram was old and weak. No red guard wishes to die in bed, but it's shameful to take one's own life to avoid hardship. Master Aram left, not to die, but to face one last battle. You've learned what you must from me. Now it's time to test your mettle. Speak to disciple Rafa Afhaba at the dueling arena, and if you pass his test, you will meet with Master Fidalia for hers. Okay. I get the riddle now. It makes sense. Sorta. We'll see what's over here. Here, the best blades of our generation train and hone their skills. You've seen many things, but do you think you can count yourself among them? Then we'll see the make of your steel in battle. My students have trained for seasons, but you have the experience of true battle. If you can defeat them all, then I will count you as an equal to them. If not, then I have no time for you. Ah, she's as sharp as a knife's edge even when she seems otherwise occupied. I see the way you walk, and it tells me you know how to handle yourself against others. Like Tafa, I have not seen anything with my own eyes. We are both unsettled, but the source is veiled. Perhaps it's the wind. Perhaps it's something more. Well, student, are you ready for this test? Only after this will Master Fidalia teach you. At attention, whelps! We've got a challenger! Oh god. Oh my god, they hit hard. I'm also like super stunned and all that stuff. Knockdown? I 
only have to defeat one? Wow. Interesting. Weird, but okay. Hello there. You have more experience than our other students. I would not have accepted you as one, but I trust the judgment of the disciples. And of course, you've done well thus far. Then drink from the cup behind you. It holds a potent concoction to put you into a deep slumber. If you are worthy, Leki will reveal a vision to you. Retrieve Rife's sword, Tafa's shield, and Nabinim's hammer from this vision if you can. These items are symbols. If you can obtain them in the dream, they will be in your mind upon your awakening, carried in your thoughts. You've learned history, and battled our pupils. This task requires your mind. When you awaken, take the armaments to the steps of the blade, the tower crowning our school. Place each item at its altar and show your respect for the lessons you've learned. I will meet you atop the tower. Okay. Would not do this in real life. Don't drink random stuff. Pro-life tip. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Drinking simulation 2.0. Okay, where am I headed off to? Oh, those are not friendly. Okay. The more you know, it's like all purple and shit. It's weird. Okay. So two more items I gotta take. One is obviously in the center of that, guarded by like five more people. They're not hard, they just have a lot of health. Get in the circle. Go! Got the hammer. Now one more weapon, it's the sword. What's the best way to do this without aggro? Not that way, but well, we'll manage. They just put it in weird paths, so you have to fight them pretty much. 